Okay, guys, here we go. Reedy Point Bridge. Reedy, R E E D Y. It's Army Corps of Engineers Bridge. They're the ones that maintain it, own it, as far as I know. This will probably be the last video of this structure, unless they do some repairs that we can catch. So I'm on a Parrot Anafi drone. It's kind of cool, it can zoom in. It can tilt up, it can tilt down 90 degrees. Uh, it can go 180 total, um, roughly 180 in total, 90 up, 90 down, of course, from center plane. So, in this video, I'm going to explore the expansion joint in this on one side only, and we're going to get some nice views also of the canal. They were supposed to have painted this structure a few years back. You'll see some, you'll see some rust. Um, this is your catwalk in the center. I was using my mouse, and you guys can't see my mouse. So I'll just have to talk. That was a DMG and a JPEG file from a, uh, this is the DNG file, D from the Anafi, which means you can edit it better. And that's the JPEG, same version, same photograph, different version. We're back to the audio now, I mean the uh, video. And it was a quick rotation. And a little side pan action going on with the canal in the background. You can pause, you can press the space bar anytime you want to pause your video if you've already loaded your mouse over to the uh, space bar, uh, the pause button on YouTube. Try it once and then you can go to this using the space bar to pause and start to see anything you want. If you don't look at this in full screen, you can actually magnify the image. If you look at it in like anything but full screen, you can use your, you can magnify the image and zoom in inside the video. I can't do that for you here as I'm narrating. Um, right here is the joint. I got to talk fast. You guys can pause it. It's it's amazing. It's actually got three hinges. Uh, one, two, three. I'm sorry, four hinges. Um, one the top, the center, the center. Mm, let's see if we can get over. Don't know if I can pause this and still talk and then catch up. Let's try that. So, so that didn't work. It actually didn't work in my software. You're just looking at the connection there, the uh, top. And that's me adjusting the uh, aperture right inside. Uh, well, actually, I use shutter speed on that one to do the adjustment, not the aperture. And beautiful joint, guys. This is a beautiful little joint. I have to be careful what I say. I don't want to give anyone any ideas. And so I'm, I, I try to be as vague as possible and also talk about what we're looking at. So that allows the flex, flexing of the structure. In this case, it doesn't really have too much a lateral movement, it appears. It's more of a, uh, and I can't tell you why. And I can't tell you why. Um, just thought about that. Um, so. It's, there's your joint, pretty joint. If you guys can figure out why, probably not a good idea to share it. Um, for any engineers on here, just think about that. But it's a beautiful joint. There's the truss plate on one side, the gusset on one side, tying in the, the diagonal, and then the hanging member, which also has a joint at the bottom, uh, pinned pinned at the top, and all these are all pinned. It's beautiful. Look at the view in the background as we come up above. Is that nice? The canal, and the, I guess that's a retention pond for a thousand acres or whatever it might be. It's actually going to be for a uh, wildlife, wildlife reserve, preserve, reserve, huh? Preserve, um, bird watching sanctuary type thing. And you can see the parrot and off. You can do this beautiful rotation. It's very smooth. You can change the speed of it, incidentally. This is about where I found that I, I operate it more smoothly at the speed, these settings. So it's kind of cool. you got to find your settings. If you have it going too fast, it will, it will rotate this thing fast as you like. Well, pretty much, pretty darn fast. This is the speed that gives you smooth, fluid video under 1080. I stopped shooting in 4K on this 
4K was uh, so much data. It wasn't as smooth as 1080, believe it or not. You'll get a clear image, but you're getting so much data, you're starting to get a flow issue, I think. So I kind of like the 1080. Besides, who can watch 4K? You know, even I've got it plugged in directly into my uh, router, and I still have a problem getting 4K. As you can see, the top of the structure is arched. The, the decking part is flat. As we rotate over, there's the canal. It's, it's beautiful. I'm going to do a full 360, I think. There's the uh, length of the bridge. You can see it's a uh, truss system switched over to girders, the concrete decking, which I really like concrete decking on a bridge. The decking, I said. It's going to tell you what's going on with the structure just by if cracks are appearing, and then you've got some movement. Asphalt's going to hide those mostly. And there's your entrance. And we spin right up, back around. And we'll shoot over to... What I found interesting was that they put load in the uh, on the decking down these uh, diagonal these verticals. There is a floor beam going across, if you will, tied to the verticals, and the stringers are then um, putting load down the verticals into the joint area, which is pushing down and pulling at the same time. Which is kind of a cool, cool setup. You got to press pause, like I said, and, and rethink about what I said, and you'll find what I'm referring to. But that's the vertical. There's a girder going across the vertical to the other vertical on the opposite side. Those are the stringers going down, resting on those vertical on the center girder, tied to the vertical in the middle there, which is going down. It's pulling on the top, pushing on the bottom. Interesting uh, setup. It's long term, guys. It's 1968. It's doing great. Yeah, they got 13 million in it. But they had to remove lead paint. Lead paint's very costly. You take that out of the formula of uh, upkeep, you would have to have painted the structure. But lead is remediation is a lot more. That's me playing with the exposure on the paradinafi. Um, they did some repairs here, as I understand on the truss plates. I did contact Army Corps of Engineers to see. Uh, they'll give me some data. Um, you see that you're just looking at rivets mostly, so I'd like to know which curious of uh, which plates they worked on, so we can sort of troll it and see. Wow, what, what was going on that they decided that it, that it was a cracking? Nevertheless, this bridge is still standing, right? So they're outstanding in their abilities to keep track of their bridge and and maintain it. There's your catwalk down the center there, human walk, inspection walk. As you rotate, you see a cross bracing in your this bracing in general, your lattice bracing, and there's some rust from the bridge deck. Obviously, uh, rain and coming off in a nice pattern. You can see the clear line of it, but not to the one to the right. So that one appears to have the uh, a water path, if you will. It's pretty significant. I wonder if it's staged every expansion joint or, or how, is it, how is it done, but it'd be nice to address water, guys. Keep water off your bridge. Must, that's the DNG file, as much as possible as our standing water. And there's your JPEG file. And we'll back to video. And there's just a view of the cantilever system part of the structure. I love the massive size of it and also the stepped reinforcement on the verticals, what I'm calling stepped reinforcement for you guys. The extra plates added to resist buckling. Now it's going to be a nice little shot. Now that was me just leveling the camera real quickly. You press one button, it levels the, uh, the camera so you, then I know I'm above the structure and I can just do this slide action. When I did this, I made sure no vehicles were in the background. I could, I could hear vehicles traveling, so I did this responsibly. Not over people, and I guess people in a car are be, are being over vehicles, is what I interpret it at this point. Although I don't think they interpret that; I think they interpret that as being over a car, um, not over people. So I'm just being safe now, because you can imagine if this thing somehow took a dive and it wound up on somebody's windshield, it could cause them to to. You could, you could wind up killing somebody 
So you don't want to draw it, fly over people's vehicles either. That's my thinking. A moving vehicle. I know that's a little excessive, but what are the odds, right? I guess if you're high enough and the vehicle's moving, that there's no way you're going to come and come together at the same time. That that's another factor. But moving on, look at this nice fluid video. And there's there's their um, rotation rotating, trying to line up with the angle down there. And you guys can press pause at any time and get some nice cool shots. And then rotating around still as I'm going away, backing up. Car coming in and out of shot. And backing up for a nice shot. If you guys want a freeze frame screenshot, whatever you want. This is posterity stuff, you know. And that's me down on the ground there. Now I'm going to roll, so I'm always in line of sight. Uh, now I'm going to roll over back to that joint and take an undershot of it. This takes a minute, guys. This drone does not have um, obstacle avoidance on it, so I have to orient, my, orient, orient myself. Um, No, oh, this is when I decided, oh, forgot to get the underside of the joint. That's what really took place there. And I said, let me just scoot back over there so I'll orient myself. Shoot back over. To grab the underside of that joint, the expansion joint. And trying to look in the camera and look at the drone at the same time, trying to orient. I'm going to cough, excuse me. <coughs> and here's your cross bracing as they've used down the uh, diagonal bracing on the underside as they used on this entire structure. And I'm just keeping this part of the video in. It's just me trying to line up the camera looking upwards. So bear with it. And there's the joint and I'm going to, to configure myself. And the video is going to terminate soon. But it's a, a nice little pin joint. You can see at one point if you pause you can see clear through the joint players through the sides and you can see the uh, the pin on on the two bottom sides of the two bottom sides of this truss system and I think that's the DNG and here comes the JPEG and they come well there's the opposite isn't it well that's DNG first and then JPEG so not sure what's going on there And I'm rolling away, and I think I'm going to terminate at one point. Or do I film coming all the way down? I don't recall. I guess I film all the way, call, all the way down. So, beautiful structure. It's, it's got symmetry. That's the opposite side. And we have our mid, our mid span, which has the joints I like. Uh, joints. I'm always into these joints, guys. This is what really you need them in, in structures. Now you did great there. Apparently, I don't know if that's part of the part that they fixed, repaired. I know it's a dark screen now. Um, I don't know if that's the part that they fixed or if they. I'm going to leave that video. That, that's that's the end of this video.